The Indian government wants to research the benefits of cow dung and urine. Scientists say, please don't. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> it's good to have Shubham here for this, by the way. Go on. On February 17th, the Indian government had calls for an initiative inviting research on the benefits of cow dung, urine, milk, and all byproducts from pure indigenous cows. That is, quote, not the foreign auntie cows. <laughs> <laughs> called scientific utilization through research augment augmentation prime products from individual cows that's the name of the thing that's a little long in the event the event will be led by the indian department of science and technology the dst they want all cow enthusiasts academics researchers and startups to come forward with proposals that look into the medicinal nutritional and agricultural perks of cow urine amongst other products this is meant to promote the manufacture of cow byproduct based shampoos toothpaste mosquito repellent and edibles like milk butter and ghee that may be many believe to cure everything from diabetes to cancer more than 110 scientists have signed a statement against this plan proposal when i went to look into this it had gone from 110 to like 500 at wait, this point wait so um shampoo from what cow cow urine cow urine from cow urine why <laughs> they they they, why? they will probably even make mouthwash from cow urine <laughs> Wait, so what else was it? Shampoo, what else? Toothpaste, mosquito repellent, you know, all kinds of body care products. And none of this is, all of this is from the urine and from... Cow urine and cow dung. And cow dung. Also, and dung, and also milk too, like maybe they make, because yeah. I know that I've seen like... Yeah, yeah, milk, milk, milk has gold in it. Cow mm. milk is gold in it. Oh yeah, I heard that apparently they have gold in it. Shopham, enlighten us, what is, what is happening? What is this? They're, they're crazy about cows. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you. For Bottom that. line. <laughs> so, they're so. So like, okay, they're, they're asking for cow enthusiasts. Well, uh, I'm not exactly a cow enthusiast, but I like beef. Do I qualify? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what are, what are they? Your cow enthusiasts once they're not alive. <laughs> Wait, so what are the yeah, scientists saying? Why are the scientists... Yeah, okay, so, uh, you know, like, uh, the government, obviously, uh, good pal, the BJP, they're doing it again. And this is uh, what I I think is, what I suspect is, like, uh, this is just an excuse uh, to, like, uh, lynch. I mean, you already know the public lynchings and stuff yeah uh, of the muslims and anyone who eats beef and anyone who is being suspected of uh, like uh, transporting beef and stuff so it it will allow them to do more lynchings and stuff and commit more crimes and how several other things it is just I, what i think is this is just an excuse for their craze craze of cows and stuff like so they're so crazy like they let cows inside school campuses no. and the students have to study outside on the streets oh well if you, if a cow comes to your school you just go like okay you t i guess the class is yours now we're leaving right yeah i mean they they did it Actu they actually did it they like uh, the cows were being annoying to the village they were eating all the crops and stuff so they decided to put all the cows inside the school campus lock the gates and the students have to, uh, to study out on the streets oh I, I i have a suggestion to the muslims in india to fight back against the hindus just go breed a whole bunch of cows around their temple areas until they everybody has to leave. <laughs> like, what if you do that? <laughs> like, what if there's so much cows in India until there's no, <laughs> there's like people are like, there's what are you gonna like? It, is that a problem? Like, how much, how many cows do you see? Like, do they walk in the middle of traffic? And... Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm in a state which is not like that crazy for cows, even though the craziness is spreading here. Oh. But uh, the streets are already filled with cow dung and stuff. Oh my god. 
What do you so do? maybe it's also like a way to make money off of the cow poop I mean, and stuff, and yeah. people will go for it. You know, we created jobs, thousands of new jobs in the cow dung in facial cream industry. So, is it fair to say that uh, people in India respect cows more than they respect women because there's a the anti woman? Uh, yeah, many, many, many do actually. It feels like many do. Because I mean, I don't think I. I hope not the most. Right. But many do. So you you're better so, off you're better off being a cow yeah. in India than a than a human woman. Yeah, in in some parts, not of course, not every part, but in many orthodox Hindu parts. Okay. Like, I mean, if I people are think... worshiping your crap, then that's amazing. Like these. I mean, they <laughs> don't just worship; they drink the urine, they eat the. <laughs> yeah, they drink. Wow. They actually drink the urine, don't they? Yeah, they do. I mean. Uh, Amazon has cow urine on it. Okay. What? Amazon has cow urine. You can buy cow. You can buy cow urine, urine bottles, on Amazon. In plastic wow. bottles. And just it's, to be it's clear, it's not just in India. Uh, by the way, it's not just in India. From uh, my brother lives in Texas. Uh, used to live in Texas. Uh, he's in the U.S. and he said that some Hindus in the U.S. buy cow urine from Amazon or stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, so, the Hindus go to U.S. and other European countries, and they sell plastic bottled cow urine there as well. Yeah. So Dan is saying, "What a scam! You you know, big urine is behind this." <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, the last news we saw, like uh, the Islamic reply that uh, they need to uh, pray to Allah for not getting the coronavirus, and before that, we saw uh, that China needs to accept Jesus. Uh, so that the coronavirus stops. You know what the Hindu reply was to that? What? They said the Chinese need to drink cow urine to stop coronavirus. The coronavirus. Oh, okay. That's amazing. <laughs> well, uh, you know, this person was saying about well, you were a big, big uh, urine. On some level, it is like an economic thing because they said they had a big proposal, which is part of this larger funding program from the Department of Science and Technology, the Ministry of Ayurveda, Yoga, and nat naturopathy, and a bunch of other things, said that they're inviting these research projects, and one of the themes is cowpathy, like homeopathy, cowpathy. Oh, the use of cow products for medicine and health, including anti-cancer and diabetes drugs, the use of cow products for agriculture, such as in pesticides, cow-based products, shampoo, hair oil, floor cleaner, research on the nutritional value of cow milk. The major aim is the scientific investment investigation of the uniqueness of pure indigenous Indian cows. So it seems like they're like, wow, we have a lot of cows. How can we, mm. you know, take profit? India, India, India does have a lot of cows. I mean, it is the largest exporter of beef. Yeah, I mean, it's so, it's so that's so ironic that the country that is most the most anti cow killing it kills the most cows in the world. Uh, they're yeah, the number one exporter of beef. I mean, so, okay, yeah, I always, when I found that out, I was shocked. Like, how do the Hindus justify that, by the way, to be the number one exporter of beef in the world? I mean, I mean, there have been BJP cow slaughterhouses found, and there have been oh. the houses, like, where cows what? were starved. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. And you but, know, you know, like, uh, they were saying, that there were some Hindus saying, like, oh, India cannot get coronavirus because of uh, Hinduism and cow worship and stuff. Mm. And when uh, there were three cases of coronavirus in India, all three were in Kerala, which is a communist state. Wow. They eat beef there. And so they didn't really have any problems. They said, oh, they are eating beef there. So it's so natural they, they will get coronavirus. Oh, so they're getting corona from beef. Okay, sure. Yeah, beef Boogie and communism. Be Boogie, <laughs> Boogie Monster Mom saying, how the hell do you drink urine and eat crap? How do you even get it down? Yeah, wouldn't your body, like, I don't know. I it should. I mean, it's toxic. People should die. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> people drink I mean, camel urine. There's people I've seen who praise drinking their own urine. People are, there's no limit to some of the you know, kind of I mean, craziness. That when we say, you know, when we say were... urine is toxic, we're not like using the, like the woo-woo definition of toxic where everything is toxic, right? No, this is actually toxic. You, you know, peeing is your body's way of getting rid of toxin, toxins, right? Yeah. Waste, like, you know, waste. You know, no, actual were... toxins. That's actual That's actual. To yeah, that's your body's definition of toxin is your urine. 
and you're uh, and you're drinking that back end here, but your buddy, your buddy is like, "What the hell? I just got rid of this. like this is the stuff we get rid of. Like, why is it coming out from the other side?" Like, <laughs> so, you know, you know, there there were people like uh, this cow urine business. There were people who admitted that to make profit, they add their own pee to the cow pee. And what? So they have more pee. Oh no! So they can get a profit. They're diluting the cow pee for their own pee. <laughs> <laughs> no way no way this is not this is not legit pee this is not my 100 percent pure cow pee there's some human pee in here you this is a scam no my goodness this is amazing this should be a movie on this where people are like scamming them by not giving them pure cow pee like 20 percent diluted by human pee <laughs> That is amazing. I'm sure there's an art. I know they've seen articles about like some guys in the the Middle East who are selling camel urine and they test it and they find out that it's not. It's human. Hmm. This is crazy. Okay, so right, we, one last one last ahead. comment by Boogie, Ma Boogie Monster Mom. She's saying, uh, uh, "I really enjoyed the show. Always, always love this." Oh, oh, she's leaving and she's saying, "Always love you." Aww. Uh, yeah, thank you. Keep the good, work, keep up the good work, and have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you, Boogie Monster, Mom. Thank you, Boogie right. Monster. Boogie News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 